What's up, Sim Races? This is Larry TJ or Sim here, and today I want to talk about the D Box, the D Box Gen 5 in particular. This is the 4250i setup, which basically means you have the four actuators with the four built in haptics to it. And you see me lower in here uh, from the D Box. It goes to a, a parked mode basically if it hasn't ran in so many minutes. So, great example to, to show up here on the screen. So, uh, <clears throat> but I want to talk about uh, a little bit about EA uh, EA uh, Sports, the WRC game. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Really enjoyed Dirt Rally 2.0 uh, or 2 rather it was my favorite dirt game. Uh, actually, never played Richard Burn Rally. Uh, can't even find where you even download it. So, if you have a place you can actually download a game to try out, please drop it in the link. I would love to try it out because it's supposed to be the almighty best dirt rally game ever. Even though the graphics probably look like. Like, she is Nick, but anyway, <laughs> it's all about feel, and it would be really cool to see uh, how this reacts to that particular game. So, yeah, I would love to try it out because I can get past the graphics, to be honest uh, with you. So, anyway, WRC, uh, this is a game, so this is what you get when you pull up on the screen. Let me make this screen a little bigger here. Uh, my face is viewing of me is not as important as getting this information to you. So, all right, so you should be able to see this. this is as big as I can make it. Uh, if you're on a small phone, you're probably going to want to zoom in. And uh, uh, best viewed on a PC, I would imagine, or an iPad. All right, so uh, of course you obviously have all these games here, but I'm just going to talk about WRC right now. Uh, in my full review, this isn't a full review, but when I do my full review, I'll talk about everything in depth. It'll probably be a long video. All right, so um, go into settings. And in settings, now you have both of these boxes that come up. And in here, you have your global parameters, which is kind of hard to see how it's outlined, and then motion editor. If you just wanted to stay at this part, you could. Uh, I leave my settings here at 100, which is the main level, max level, 100, and the motion uh, for the haptics uh, set balance at zero. And then after you've created motion profiles through here, you could actually just come over and say, ah, I just want default, and hit save, and then let her rip. And uh, uh, once you launch the game, however you want to launch it through Steam, in my case, or I launch it, launch it with uh, WRC. Um, I launched WRC through uh, my Sim Experience right here. So I'd launch and there we go. Uh, it will automatically turn on the uh, the, the D box uh, settings for you. And this is what automatic means. And there, some of these other games have special instructions. We can get into that. And another date. So when you go over to Motion Editor, just to kind of give a quick rundown of this here, is um, even though it, I, I say default, I've mod it won't let you stretch the screen out to the side, which kind of irritates me too, but you can do this. Um, but default is normally 40, so that, I have that on 30. Default is really 40, quite high. In this particular game, it goes up to 60. Uh, I forgot what I have this on now, 30. Well, there's a good example. If you were to scroll through here up and down, scrolls as you see, but if you were to scroll like this, thinking you're going to scroll the whole game up and down, you screw up your setting here. <laughs> so this is one niggle I don't like about it. I, I, I kind of wish you didn't have mouse control of these settings because it's not like it's exactly accurate because it sets basically what your mouse uh, scroll speed is. Not your scroll speed, but your scroll... Uh, you can set your, your scrolling on your mouse to go like so many pages at one time. And so that's pretty much what this follows. Uh, so I don't know what I had this set at. So <laughs> it irritates me that that happens, but every reviewer have always mentioned this. I, I wish they would fix it. But yeah, if I'm doing this and just talking along and scrolling, I'm like, ah, I screwed all this up right now. I don't know what the hell I did. So you literally just have to close it. And uh, it says, do you want to discard your unsafe changes? And say yes. And then go back into your settings, pull it back up again. Remember I said default and saved a while ago, so it stayed there. And then here we go. All my settings are back. So if you're 30, you know, 46, all this is, is, is uh, the way it was uh, left. So just a quick little, little uh, tip for you, right? All right, y'all, uh, here's a y'all setting here. I don't have a 6DOF. I probably will add it in the future because I'm just a track junkie, hence the name. But uh, yeah, you can of course feel free to adjust your default setting all you want and, and uh, it'll stay there and, and save it. But uh, in particular, I created a preferred motion setup and an asphalt one because uh, asphalt I want to see. 
I, I want to feel certain things a little bit more, like the up and down intensity and uh, left and right, not so much, and, and, and so on, right? Engine power, I didn't need it as much. Uh, and, you know, just to my individual liking, right? I'll go over here to preferred motion setup. I'll say save. Uh, and like I said, these are all turned down, right? So front rear intensity, this is basically the pitching of your car frontwards and backwards, right? Left, right is, is it moving left and right? So it's pitching it left and right and up and down is the, um, is the whole system moving up and down as your suspension travels up and down. So uh, hence 3D left. And then overall reactivity is for all of these, right? And now this isn't, like I said, it's not a complete review, but just kind of giving you some of my settings I use. Now I'm 250 pound guy. Uh, if you're a lighter guy or a heavy guy, heavier guy, you're, you're gonna probably adjust them. And you're gonna adjust them to your taste. Feel free when you do get this system or if you already have this system uh, to turn all these down and just turn one up and see what it does. Uh, and, and that's kind of what I do. Uh, and all these settings are slightly different per game. Uh, but generally, you, you always have this, uh, and you always have engine vibration, suspension, and rumble, uh, but you may not have gear shift on some of them. <clears throat> so, engine vibration, this is set at 36, uh, my suspension 34, the vibration at rotation is 34. I like these settings. Uh, I turn down this, the engine vibration a little bit. It's normally at 40. Uh, I don't need to feel it that much, but I want to feel it when I'm on the line. And I do like feeling as it climbs through, especially on like pavement games, asphalt games. But uh, yeah, I like the feel of it. So, you know, yeah. But uh, what's interesting is that <clears throat> even though you have this on 36, in this suspension travel, uh, this is now, of course, from here down is haptics only. You still feel jarring the vibration effects of your suspension and the vibration effects of your road textures, even though you have the engine up. The power up so it's very distinctive it, it uh, works way better it blows a butt kicker out of the water the butt kicker cannot do what these do just period uh, i've had six butt kickers on my system before where i individually set each one to do certain things and uh, because you put too much too many different frequencies in a small butt kicker and it just overheats and it shuts the amp off uh, i've literally played played with this setting here for two hours straight Never had any haptics turn off, never had no motion fail, it never even got hot. Uh, you could touch it and with your hand just fine. Amazing system, so love it. I just freaking love this system. But uh, and now I did come from a uh, next level racing V3, which was just a seat mover, 2DOF. This is a 3DOF. That's a night and day difference when you're moving your whole rig compared to just pushing your seat around. So just a Little heads up on that. I did enjoy that system uh, when I had it, uh, but it broke after three years. So, uh, hence now I got this. Now that was three grand for that, uh, and I could have got a replacement from them. They're very nice because uh, I did a lot of reviews for them, uh, and they, they could have sold me one at at uh, cost, which has been a couple grand, something like that. But I didn't want to sink five grand into that. So I'm basically overall, so I looked looked elsewhere. So here we are. Anyway. This isn't about the other competition, it's about the D-Box, right? <laughs> but I can give you a little comparison along the way. So, um, yeah, these are all good. The haptics, rumble strips, you know, it's really kind of like your curbing and stuff on the asphalt ones in the dirt. You really don't have rumble strips, right? So skid vibration is awesome. Love skid vibration. So when you grab that handful of that e-brake and you're just sliding your rear end and you're, you're, you lock your tires like an e-brake does, and you're basically pushing against rocks, loose rocks, loose gravel. You feel that gravel sliding out from underneath your tire. It's so dang awesome. And then another one here, gear shift I like a lot. Uh, when you're shifting through gears, it, uh, if you've ever been into a, a decent sports car uh, with some shift modes on it, it'll push you back in the seat when it's accelerating. And then uh, also it will, uh, uh, well, mainly you, you feel that pushing you back in the seat. But then if you're downshifting, you'll you'll feel the transmission drag the car down, right? So that's exactly what this does. It's really cool when you're coming to the end of your stint uh, and uh, you pass the uh, finish line, you gotta come into the little area to where you gotta park next to the, uh, the crew there and you're downshifting in your gears and it pulls that front end down and you feel your rig just kind of pull down and it pivots forward. <laughs> so it's just the little touches, you know, it's just these little touches that are so cool. So anyway, really enjoying that aspect of it. So, uh, but yeah, 
uh, that's just a quick coverage of, of the settings here that I'm, I'm running. So we will just hit save and close. That way it saves my preferred setup. And I will go into the WRC game real quick. Launch. All right, so now we jumped into the game, WRC. And uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and go to, I gotta look down underneath my rim here, it's too damn tall. <laughs> uh, we'll go to t time trial, we'll just pick something. I'm gonna pick Kenya. All right, so let's go into time trials. I'm gonna pick Kenya. Uh, it's a very rough track. Uh, it's a good example to show you some things and uh, be a quick little little rundown, right? So we'll go, uh, I don't know how to pronounce this, Moe, Mo North. Try it out. WRC, I like Ford Focus, and we'll let her rip, continue. Now I'm going to tell you everything I feel with this game. All right, I got the volume down so you can actually hear me talk, but I'll turn it up a little bit with my little DAC over here so I can kind of hear what the heck's going on with my engine. But right now, what I'm feeling Stop is the left. is the uh, vibration of the rig. Uh, so this is just the engine vibration that I'm feeling right now, and it's 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 uh it's not like no movement. It's just haptics, right? It's it's just vibrating, and I feel it throughout my whole body. I feel it down in my feet. I feel it in my butt. I feel it in my back. Everywhere. And uh, so, yeah, adjust that to your liking. And then of course, when you rev it up. It's not like it, it all, all of a sudden goes to max uh, vibration and back down and nothing when you let off. It's, it's as you climb through the RPM, you feel this uh, progression of vibration, that, that wave uh, of uh, that sound wave right go through in a vibration format. So it feels awesome, really good. All right. Now I'm gonna rev it up, of course. You can see my wheel vibrates from what's in game. And uh, yeah. And then actually what I'm feeling now is a higher pitch before I take off, I'm telling you, a higher pitched uh, sound. Turn my volume down here. A uh, higher, higher pitch sound and then, uh, so it's less uh, vibrationally, right? It's more of a higher, higher sound. But anyway, throw them back. So what you feel in your wheel, you feel, of course, in the motion. I feel the vibrations of, of just the terrain and obviously the movement you can see in the seat and paying attention to the way this seat's moving to give you an idea of what I feel. Remember these are turned down settings. Uh, a little rougher there. I love the dips you feel. Oh yeah. Caught just a little bit of air. Holy shit. There we go. Yeah, well, at least you can see what happens there. Oh, I feel that tire spin throwing the rocks. Of course, the movement side to side. Yeah, it's, it's very, very freaking rough, even in a low setting, especially if you don't stay on the track. This train's actually pretty rough. Oh shit. Oh yeah. But I like, it. everything's pivoting you. It's pivoting the whole rig, your wheel's moving with you. I was wondering if this was gonna be different. Now my monitors aren't hooked to my rig, because the monitors aren't make, made to vibrate, okay people? <laughs> People that hook their monitors up to their rig, their monitor's not gonna last a long time. I, I would bet that because they're not built in with vibration motors or anti-vibration motors in them. Okay, Just think about that before you hook your motion uh, rig up. Woo! With monitors, I love when you catch that air. You catch that air. I got you. I just got stuff on that. When you catch that air, you feel that that. Just you're, you're left in the air, and then you come down. It's like kaboom! And it just it feels fucking awesome. Excuse my language. This poor car. Oh, this is that track I don't like. I always miss that turn. 
Oh shit. Oh shit. Man, you think I'd learn how to drive by now? Alright, we'll reset. So, okay, all wheel drive. I took off there from a dead stop and I actually felt the front wheels just kicking in. It's pretty cool. As well as the back. I love that the half that you're able to feel your tire spin. Of course, tune anything out in your head, but if you stay tuned in to what you're feeling like you would in a real car, uh, it really stands out. Those parents are good at learning how to tune out sound and feelings. <laughs> oh, that dip! Oh my gosh! That just slam dip that it did there was actually pretty cool. Uh, let's hit something here, why not? Okay. Must have killed somebody. Woo! I love that side. It makes me want to push my hip into it and slide. I want a motorcycle or something, but yeah, that that's so satisfying, that tilt. Now I know I don't have traction loss on it, but to be honest, you really don't miss it. So this is what's weird. You see the vibration. I uh, hear me vibrating through here, and it's that part's irritating. <laughs> Not irritating, but it just seems unnecessary uh, to have all this extra vibration. Uh, some I know, like the uh, next level racing racing version, you could uh, turn that part off to where they fixed it to where when you end the game, it'll just turn off the the haptics and the motion and stuff, so you're not doing all these weird gyrations. So I hope they actually update this. They do actually listen to people with the updates in the forums. Forums are not um, very lively. There's not a lot going on in them, I would say, but uh, they are, of course, uh, monitoring them. So, uh, for instance, I had uh, Automobilist 2, uh, and it had this horrific shift feel, and it's controlled from the motion of the rig. And so I finally figured that out that the shift effects, because they didn't have an independent gear shifter, uh, was was uh, controlled with the motion. So I just turned the motion down, but then later on they came back with an update. I haven't tried it out yet uh, to see if it works yet, but anyway, they, they did listen to people, right? Uh, which is good, but oh, man, it was aggressive. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, this is a look at, at Dirt Rally real quick. Uh, I'm sorry, Dirt Rally. WRC, EAWRC uh, with the motion D box, this is Gen 5, 4250i, so four, four, four actuators, right? Uh, leave some comments below of what you want to, uh, what you may be interested in seeing as far as other games. I'd be happy to run them and uh, maybe show like a, uh, I don't know, like a, a camera over the side and stuff. I have some more uh, onboard uh, videos or over the, over the chair looking videos that I'll release. They may already be out and you may already seen them by the time I, produce, uh, time I release this one, but check those out too. Don't forget to subscribe to keep up and, uh, Leave me some comments of what you like as far as uh, uh, the content and what you want to uh, to uh, see more of, what you're more interested in. So, yeah, that's it. I'm out.